Yeah, so it feels like this game just came out. Yeah, we got we got a long life ahead of us. Yep, here we go on starter Hopefully, we got a long set ahead of us. But JK already oh, already trying already to prove to these us fair wrong. Strings? And that's as a zero to, death. zero to death. Yeah. No percent taken, man. Yeah. Oh, some people in the crowd already chanting for JV. Now, this is definitely one of the matchups that Latai's aggressive, in-your-face playstyle is not going to benefit him. Because he definitely he wants to pressure you from the air. He also wants to get those grabs. But a character like Bayo, you really do need to have a good grab game. Yeah, your risk reward for even whiffing grab, but your risk reward for even picking an offensive option is so skewed against Bayonetta that if it if it doesn't connect and it doesn't work how you want it, and if you're in a, in an event, in a position to get punished, the punishes are so hard, man. They are. Oh, yeah. Oh, grabs him out of the bat within. Yeah. That's actually something so important is because bat within is a one frame uh, escape option, Bayonetta it does have um, the option to kind of choose where she goes, but there's only so many places. So if you can cover it and kind of understand where she's going to go, it can actually be a pretty good baiting tool. Yeah, because uh, there is some time where after Bayo does have the bat within, she's a little bit vulnerable. You can still get a punish off of it. Yeah. Now, disregarding the... Uh, the uh, Oh, yeah, and that's yep. going to be it. Landing with a button against Bayo. I was going to say, <laughs> disregarding the immediate zero to death, Latai's looking pretty good in that matchup. Yeah, he's keeping this very even. Oh, wrong way. I'm getting mirrored. <laughs> All right. So no, knowing Latai, he might just run it back. Yeah. He might go to town. He might go to triplats. All right. Yep. He, all right. He's going to go. Yep. Generally, yeah, not really one to ban triplats either. Yeah, because both of these player your characters, they like the platforms because it assists them with their ladder combos. Yeah, and already off to a to a much better start. Latai not being dead. <laughs> <laughs> Latai with a 36% lead right now. Yeah, and that's actually a really good option against the uh, the grounded oh. afterburner kick. Is like the up tilt out of shield because it's fairly fast, and I'm pretty sure it can punish. Yeah, it comes out frame three, I believe. But he's oh, already he's, he's already he's being taken for a ride, but JK, not being dead. And JK already stealing the lead back. Matai yeah. just trying to play footsies, waiting out the witch time there. That is something the, uh, the... Good SDI. Yeah, good SDI for him. But the uh, the flip kick back on the stage, because Bayonetta doesn't really snap ledge with her uppy, as uh, as we saw earlier this tournament with Coco, <laughs> <laughs> uh, that can be exploited. And the second, the second witch twist, the disjointed hitbox is not as big. So yeah. Latai definitely can take advantage of that. And something that Latai is known for is doing the flip kick spike to two frame people. So yeah, he's, he's very good at it. And forward oh, throw. Okay, that was a little bit suspect DI, but Ooh. yeah, AZ coming alive for Latai. But at this percent, he's th there's a lot of stuff that that'll kill him. Oh, oh yeah, might have been another misinput. Yeah, and he's got to stop doing those when JK is recovering from a horizontal angle because afterburner kick can really contest that. Wow, that, that hit way higher than it should have. <laughs> yeah, back air's hitbox is a little bit silly. A little bit. <laughs> oh, and he just goes for the grab oh, and yeah. he grades the air dodge. Reading the air dodge, yeah. Something that Zero Suit did gain after the nerf is the 50-50 is the air dodge with the boost kick. No, not boost kick, with the flip kick. Because if you... Oh, you avoid the grab. Yeah, Ben are really able to act very fast out of out of grounded afterburner kick. And it seems like every time that JK is landing on one of those platforms, he's always landing with a witch time. Oh, yep. Oh. Ah. That's something that Latai is starting to catch on to. Oh, going yeah. for the two frame on the flip kick. Once again, and it's just like the Latai special. He's tried to do it twice now, and he's gotten punished for it both times. Again, he's using witch time every time he lands on that platform. 
Yeah, Latai has the read, but he's just a little bit too slow. Oh, yeah. reads the roll and gets the up yeah. smash. JK with the good tech read. And JK was all over him that game. He was just chasing yeah. him with his afterburner kicks, just not letting him breathe. Yeah, JK an aggressive player in his own right. Um, yeah. Zero Suit definitely not a matchup that he can necessarily camp because he, he can play both sides. He's a very well-rounded Bayonetta, and I've seen him play both sides. But against a player as aggressive and as pressure-heavy as Latai, is that if you play passive, you're letting him play his game. So you really need to smother him. Otherwise, he'll just run over you. It's nice to see Elegant giving some coaching. Yeah. I think he was showing him how to SDI, because I saw him <laughs> do the... It looked like a mash, but that was probably SDI. Yeah, I don't know. These, these Luigi players are oh. mashing, man. We see some Paralyzer combos right there. Already off to a nice lead. Oh, we oh, get these juggles. Oh, but yeah. Oh, that was almost it. Yeah, he de he was definitely looking. Like, the aerial drift from Latai definitely showed that he was looking for the... Uh, and what He was looking for the... For the air dodge. And once again, these... These boost kicks that are just not getting him anything other than punished. Oh yeah, a little bit too high oh. on the on the ledge trump. I don't know. I don't know what sort of coaching that Elian just gave yeah, him, but this but is it, a it's it's working. This is a complete 180 from yeah. the last two games. <laughs> so you know, just like look, at it, it's like tip. oh, which don't time? Be bad. But uh, like, don't get hit. I, I don't think he's gonna die from that. Yeah, yeah, he's fine. Definitely a smash meme, but 100% applicable in this matchup is sometimes you just don't want to get hit. Down throw back air. And yeah, that was a clean stock. That was clean and. It looks like Latai Lata looks like he's going to try to slow this game down a little bit. But as I say that, he's trying to go for a two-frame. Yeah, I think I think slowing it down could be good, but if you're playing against someone who's just trying to like smother your pressure with his, I think the best way is to just like just like do the same thing back. Oh, good DI. Good DI. Yeah, he's definitely living. Oh. Yeah. He. It's really hard, but it is possible to tech that if he were to DI into the stage. Now, I don't think Latai is going to die from this. Oh, oh if anything, he's reversal. a... Oh, not oh, going to kill. Good DI from... Yeah, and getting the ledge. He's actually very lucky that Wispy was not... Yeah, well, that Wispy yeah. was not blowing. <laughs> that could have potentially been an SD. Yeah. But he knows his character really well. The looking a lot better this game. Oh. Getting a little crazy right there. With that down air. All right now, uh, yeah, he's definitely reading JK's aerial mobility, like aerial patterns, a lot better. Because he's not getting hit by these like positional baits that JK was doing games one and two. But as I'm yeah, saying, but that, this is a Bayo combo. Nope. Yeah. Down till Bayo combo. Him. Oh, yeah. and he dies to rage up B. Yeah. No SDI can save you from that because sometimes it's just gonna kill. Yeah. Which twist with enough rage, it'll just... Yeah, just send you off the top. Yeah. That's something very scary about Bayonetta, is if you let her live for too long, rage Bayonetta yeah. is something else. Something like uh, Samus is up E2 with a lot of these rage multi-hits, is that rage, um, for those of you who don't know, um, the more percent you have, the more damage and knockback your moves do. So when you have a move like Bayonetta's up E, like the Witch Twist, or Samus's up E, um, the spin jump, is it has a lot of...